Welcome to a new market update today and as you can see we're going to discuss a topic that is in everyone's interest which is which altcoin will go 10x during 2022 that is what we're going to discuss today and I'm still in Nice and Monaco chilling as I'm having my vacation here but we are still here to provide the latest content for you before we're going to continue, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, do not forget to like this YouTube update if you enjoy the content. And also, do not forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram where you can find daily content on the market as I'm producing TA and more on my social media platforms. And I'm trying to diversify that even more towards investing and macroeconomic purposes during this year. The ultimate question, and we have got the NASDAQ on here, the ultimate question, there are two, is the first one is, are we still in a bull cycle with the cryptocurrency markets? Or are we in a bear market? And if we are in a bull cycle, are we eager for uh, coins that will go 10x during this period in 2022? And we're going to dive into both of those topics. The first one is the fact that we are seeing uh, discussions of whether we are in a bull or bear market, given the fact that we might be having a double top, given the fact that we might be having or we might have reached the actual top as the four year cycle has ended. Um, and there is also a potential discussion about the fact that we are experiencing ourselves a bearish divergence. But at this stage, I think that we are just in the middle of a bull cycle and that cycle takes a longer road, as we call it the lengthening cycle, which Benjamin Cohen also has been claiming for a substantial period of time. I think that we're witnessing that actual fact taking place right now, in which I do see that 2022 is going to be a bullish year in which we might be accelerating, just like the dot-com bubble has been accelerating as well. And why do I have this picture on here? Well, if you are looking at a chart like this in 1998, you would have been claiming that the market was over and that we have reached the peak high of the actual bull cycle. However, there's also the fact that we are seeing various divergences play, being played out, right? Or at least they are being built up. Um, through which we might be getting to the conclusion that we are reversing relatively soon with the entire market. However, when we're looking at the price action in itself, we can see that this bearish divergence is avoided given the fact that we are just holding constant levels for support and that we are holding crucial levels for support, with which I mean that we are building a bearish divergence here, also in the dot-com bubble, but we are constantly flipping a previous level of resistance for support. So we've got this structure here, breakout, retest, bearish divergence is starting to play out. However, we are holding the previous resistance for support, continuation. Another retest taking place, continuation. Over here, we have got ourselves towards the peak high as the parabolic run started to advance. So the bearish divergence doesn't have to actually play out. Um, it can be building, build up, it can continue building up, but as long as the price action continues holding support levels that previously were resistances or critical levels that we have to hold on to, the bearish divergence will not be confirmed. So when we're looking at the total market cap, in which we are diving into the weekly chart, we might be getting into a similar conclusion at this point, given that we've just witnessed such an accelerative run here, right? So what we're looking at is a breakout of the previous high, which immediately got down. We didn't got enough strength in which what is the crucial level that we should be holding in order to avoid that the bearish divergence starts to play out or becomes valid is that we are looking at a support that holds above this entire green zone that we are having here. If the total market cap of crypto sustains above this level, I think we're just fine and we're just going to continue running with the entire markets. And this picture of the cryptocurrency markets right now is very similar to what we are witnessing with the dot-com bubble in 1997 and 1998. However, a little bit faster, of course, given the fact that the technology is advancing and that those runs are usually um, accelerating faster uh, by the technology that also accelerates faster or advances faster. So also what we do we see here even more 
Um, this is not a valid bearish divergence, given the fact that this small one that we've had here already played out with the breakdown. This one is too many candles and is therefore not a valid bearish divergence. I think that we've actually already been hitting the actual low. So when we're looking at the fact of which altcoins are likely going to 10x, um, I think that I'm here to say that I'm not going to shill you gems or small caps on this YouTube channel. My channel is relatively big and um, it's not in my purpose to shout some altcoins that will definitely go moon because of some uh, marketing deal that someone has been making or myself has been making with them i think it's more in the purpose of myself to provide you content that you can actually use to build your entire portfolio so what you should be looking at is not that you should be looking at a 100x on your portfolio but you should be looking at a build up of your portfolio that is actually going to make you a decent amount of ROI going into 2022. So I want to cover a few coins that should be in your basket. So if you have an entire portfolio and um, within that portfolio, the largest amount of your trading portfolio should consist of layer ones. And I've got a few examples of 2021 layer ones that have been doing massive. Um, for instance, Solana came from a few bucks and ran to $240. Avax was a similar one that has been doing absolutely amazing, in which it also came from a few bucks and started to accelerate towards $140. So layer ones are the ones that you should be including in your portfolio if you want to get a very balanced one and generate the outcome that you want to get if layer ones are not going to be proven right or they are not being the ones that are being built on then the layer twos or all the apps that you have on the layer one doesn't really make sense so instead of gambling into gems i think the best you uh, thing you could do is to start building a portfolio with layer ones that are not having or that have not seen this run yet and that are eager to get a run going so that's the first chapter that you should be including in your portfolio definitely consists of ethereum as that's the primarily layer one that you should be having there's also more altcoins or more layer ones that should consist of your portfolio, which are the first one is definitely Atom, which is currently making itself ready for a new run to be taking place. If I look at the chart of Cosmos, if I look at it fundamentally, I think Cosmos is definitely eager to start getting a run going. It didn't see one yet. However, it might be one of the better player, layer ones out there, especially into the interoperability. Um, and they have been focused on attack first, and now the hype and the momentum starts to gain attention, in which we have also been seeing a beautiful support resistance flip. And definitely, we are eager to start continuing the run as it is building up its own cycle. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So we are eager for a new higher high to be built here. Same goes for Polkadot. It has seen a very heavy corrective move here, but we are still making higher highs, higher lows. We are also looking for a continuation of the market to actually show at this point. So I think that uh, making a category of layer ones that you should be including, I think at the dot also HDR are ones that you should be including. I think you should also be including a few ones that have been going well already, but you should position or make it percentage wise uh, uh, more skewed towards coins that have not been moving too heavy yet given the fact that the ROI on those will be heavier. Then what is another category that you should be looking at? I've been saying it multiple times it's definitely DeFi. If we're looking at a few of the DeFi projects one of them is Curve at this point it is currently waking up and those are still going to continue moving. 2021 was a terrible year for DeFi. 2022 is most likely going to be a great year for DeFi as we are waking up with the entire market for it. And most of the DeFi projects have been going down since the peak high with more than 70 to 80 percent um, in which that is a category that should be in your portfolio. That is Curve, Aave, SushiSwap, more of those, Chainlink and also the oracles should be included into your portfolio.
this topic we'll be diving in way more in the coming weeks on how to build your portfolio but i think that the message of today is that we are still in the middle of a bull cycle the strength of the altcoins are showing that which altcoins are going to go 10x i think you should not be focused on that i think you should be focused on balancing your portfolio well with layer ones with layer twos with DeFi, and that you're ready for 2022 don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and i'll see you again soon